Hi guys! We are back with another pink parcel! Yeah, um, we knew you had one last week, but it took us a while to get that up. And now we have marches! Woo! So that's fine, because who doesn't like playing in makeup? I have one issue with these. It says that it fits through 94% of letter boxes. We don't know anyone who can get it in the letter box. Everyone I know has had to, to open the door or gone to pick it up. Yeah. So I feel yeah. like they lie. In fact, I changed mine to work. There we go. Get rid of the reflection. Right. Um, because it doesn't go through my letter box either. Mine's bigger as well, isn't it? And it still won't fit through. No. In fact, I wouldn't pick this up for today. So I haven't even had a chance to poke it. No. No. But I don't let her open these until we film for you guys, so... And got it upside down. Oh, this one's been beaten up a bit. It has actually. We were telling Beck when we went to pick it up, that black bag was open and like this is destroyed. So I have checked it, she still has everything. I'll take the little pink Bible of what's in there. I will check coupons. Because who doesn't want to share coupon codes? And clips are hard. <laughs> well, they're not, but this one's stuck. <laughs> we oh, have. Yeah. Only one. We did only get one yeah, this month. Which is Boozy Body Care, which is 15% off with the code PINK17. Okay. On there. We can link that website and the code underneath. I'll put, like I did in the last one, I'll put all of the websites and all of the codes down below for you. You can have that back. Why, thank you, good sir. Good madam. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Should get ready to catch again. So, as we showed you last month, you get for later, for night, for now, and then for you, which is the one that we'll unbox for you. Nobody needs to see those. Just throw them all on the poor dog, though. The dog's fine. Ah. Right, this is the bit we both love diving into. Ew. Doesn't quite look as full this time, but. There's actually only one product left, but I'm gonna be honest with you guys, when I opened mine, because as we said last month, I open mine at least a good week before usually is the plan. So I can try everything before we film it. Initially I was a little bit disappointed, but actually once I kind of went through it all, I was quite happy with everything. I'm trying not to read too much. Yeah. Shall I hold the box so you can only have one at a time? Okay. <laughs> this is actually one that, she does tell me about one item because I don't have the patience to wait. Basically, if you want to, if you get Pink Parcel, you can go online and it's all on there, what you're getting, but you never want to know all of it, do you? No. So I'll send her a picture of one a month so that it tides her over. And the one that she told me about was this green tea blotting paper. Might have to take it out, I think the reflection's gonna... Which I have tried blotting paper before, um, on nights out. And this is actually a really handy sort mm. of size for that. Do you know what I thought when I opened these? Florida! Literally the first thought was Florida! Um, so I haven't tried these because I don't generally Ooh. suffer with oily skin. They do smell good though, don't they? Yeah, they do. I'm just going to sniff them all night now. But yeah, so... I, again, I didn't bother trying them because generally it's not a problem I have and I thought these are perfect for Florida, especially being in a cute little packet. I thought they'd be ideal to take with us. D does it say how many is in there? Do, do, do. So you're not going to know this, I'm just going to have to like randomly find 30 sheets. Here. And these are 7 99 For 30 sheets? Just a 7 99 so that must be full size. But... Obviously, so it doesn't look very big, but there is 30 in there. So. Yeah. And if you bear in mind again that these boxes are £10.50, obviously you've got your products, £7.99, there's your money already. So everything else? Bonus! Yeah. So, I mean, these boxes are good value for money. I was a bit sceptical when we first were like, oh, we'll order it, but I am actually pleasantly surprised. Yeah. Yeah, everything's been really good. I'm going to give you this. Is your next Cheeky one. woo woo. It smells amazing. This looks like a little cocktail. That's the plan. Ooh. Oh, that smells like coconutty. It smells like cocktails. It's so, so Love nice. me, but please don't drink me. Yeah. Duly noted. And not tested on animals. No, um, and I think, is that the one that's vegan as well? 
and it just yeah cruelty free and vegan there you go so it's got a tiny little bunny with a heart with ears they're not gonna <laughs> i know but you can't see the bunny anyway but no but there you go so it looks like that i've used mine once or twice oh it's body wash by the way we didn't actually mention what it was oh no we did not we got excited <laughs> because it's so cute and what's that 50 mil it is indeed and that would be 5.95 for 250 mil again i've given this a i've used it once or twice i didn't want to use it too much because i'm actually going away this weekend and i thought that is perfect to Apple take with me it smells amazing good lather and you can still smell it on the skin after which for me is something i always want from a shower gel i don't want it to just scent the bathroom yeah because like we, we both went through a phase of using the marshmallow i love imperial leather marshmallow all day so good. i could sniff that all day should, um, I give, should I give you something new yeah i Let's already did have one. a look at this yeah and i am going to put this on my lapel and it does say lapel yeah <laughs> Right, and there's another code on the back of this that says use promo code HAPPY for 25% off your order at Lapel Yeah. And it's just a cute little badge that says HAPPY EVERYTHING. This is very cute. This is one of the ones I don't really think that I will use. But I will. I may put it on my pin board just till I've got some more Disney pins on there. It's not something that, for me personally, was something I was that bothered on to be fair but I really like it yeah and that's the thing with these boxes is obviously you've got to bear in mind that there could be a whole range of people getting them so all right for me that wasn't something I was that interested in but obviously somebody else maybe um that one was five dollars Ooh. 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 right you might want to keep your juice handy chocolate it's chocolate it's exclusively for pink parcel is it Marza? Ma I'm assuming it's Marza. Marza chocolate. And this is 70% cocoa solids. Oh. In fact, I'm just going to read this for you. You can always open it and try to square while I do that. I think like. I might have to make this into hot chocolate. Because oh, it is suitable for vegans though. Here we go. So it says, this month's chocolate is really special. Of course, it's totally delicious, but it's also free from any sugar or artificial sweeteners. Ooh. So it's genuinely good for you. Um, handmade with 70% cocoa solids and sweetened with organic, I think it's palmyra nectar instead. Dark bars are both decadent and nutritious, leaving that rich taste lingering on your tongue long after the chalky is gone. They are not kidding. I actually, as said, I got mine delivered to work and I tried this and I gave my students and my work colleague a try. Cow, cow. It was strong. Like, whoo, strong. I like dark chocolate, but I don't tend to be into 70%. That's a bit rich for me, and that was just too much. I could bake us some brownies with it. I was going to say, baking a hot chocolate, I can imagine it would be great, but... Although, how cute is this packaging? Yeah, it's adorable, and I love that it fits so cute with the well, pink Well, it was it's exclusively them. I so. think that's their colouring anyway, I assume. I don't know. But I don't know. It looks very sort of posh and... Yeah. What size bar is that again? This is 30 grams. Right. That chocolate is seven ninety nine for an 80 gram bar, so just over double that. Ooh. That's some expensive chocolate. And that's a lot of cocoa as well, so it's... It was strong. I mean, we had two squares each and that blew our heads off, so... What are you? Dry oil... Oh, for dry hair, non-greasy shampoo. Smell shampoo. <laughs> it's a Dove one. This looks like the perfect like travel size. Yeah. Literally, when I opened this box, actually, I said exactly that. I was like, ideal, I'm going away next weekend. So oh, That actually smells really, it just smells really clean. Mm. And like Dove. Yeah. Like, it's a very Dove smell, isn't it? Yeah. So this one says, now our hair is coming out of hibernation, we want glossy, shiny locks that scream spring. So, Dove's luxur luxuriously hydrating shampoo is the perfect fit for this month's pink par parcel. I'll get my words out. It's enriched with African macadamia oil that transforms brittle strands and promises to make your hair five times silkier. What's not to love? I have greasy hair, that's what's not to love. Right, now, here's where I thought I was being clever. Technically, it says five times silkier with the conditioner, but obviously they've only sent you the shampoo. 
So I decided to test it without conditioner because I thought, you know what, that seems the fairest way. When I got out of the shower, I kind of regretted this because my hem just knots to hell, to be fair. With All my, of ours yeah. and our mums. I don't know why. You don't even need to touch it. Like, you can brush it, walk out of the bathroom, go back, brush it again, there'll be a knot. It's just how our hair is. But um, I didn't use any conditioner. I just brushed it out with my Tangle Tamer like I normally would, brushed it, left it to dry overnight, and then I got up and straightened it in the morning. So I didn't even hair dry it. And genuinely, my hair was so soft. Yeah, I was now. so surprised. No, I've used my other one. Oh. Because again, I wanted to keep this... To go away. To go away with. Um, but I actually went to get my hair cut that morning. And my hairdresser couldn't believe that I hadn't used conditioner. It was so soft. And I've actually been hunting for the conditioner in this size. <laughs> so I could take it away with me. I can't find it, so... I might have to try this tonight. Yeah, but I think I, I still might... have a lot of hairspray in my hair from the wedding. Yeah, and I actually think I'm going to buy this. When my current shampoo runs out, I think I am actually going to give that a go as a full one. Um, and that is two ninety nine for 250ml at Boots. And this is 50ml, so... Yeah. So it's a good, like a good... Good sample size, size for... yeah. I said I, I always wash my hair through twice with shampoo, so I've used that out of it. You wouldn't really know. And then the rest of it's going to come away with me with this, this weekend. I'm going to watch the doggy. The doggy. The doggy. Boom. Coffee! <laughs> Not that we're coffee addicts or anything. Just just like a tea bag for coffee. It literally looks like a tea bag too. This is really cool. Come on, my face. Coffee bag. And I like that it's got like London on the packet. Okay, yeah, I'll cover your face. And it, it looks chalkboardy. I really like mm. that. It's really nice packaging. And what's the coffee like? Really good coffee. Um, it's like a good filter coffee, but obviously much less hassle because it's in a tea bag. You don't need to worry about cafetiere. So again, I actually made mine at work that afternoon because usually it's only me that has an afternoon coffee. So I was like, okay, well, I'm just going to make this up then. That's quick and easy. And because obviously you can... Just brew it for as long as you want, so there's no sort of it does strict say brew longer for stronger. Which I would have liked a guideline time. I'm not gonna lie because it was just a bit. Is this enough? Yeah. So I just went on. I think probably I aimed for five minutes, but obviously I was at work, so it's probably more like five ten ish. But yeah, it was a really nice cup of coffee, and actually, I think I'm gonna order some of these too. How much are these? These are five ninety nine for a pack of ten. So, about 60p a tea bag. I was going to say 59.9p. Well, yeah, if you want to be pedantic. I did. Which, initially, when I first said it, I was like, £6 for 10 tea bags seems a lot. Coffee bags. Coffee bags. But then when Carl pointed out that we go Costa and Starbucks quite a bit... I don't I work in a coffee house, so I'd Well, say yeah, that. she doesn't. But I do, and when you think they're sort of three, four quid a go, actually, that's not that bad. It's a good deal. A tea bag, coffee bag. I've never heard of a coffee bag before. No, it was quite cool. Kind of weird, but quite cool. And really tasty. I'm gonna have to give that a go. How much is left? You got two more. Give me Well, there's no good if you and then open your eyes anyway. Bath crystals. Cold season warms the body, beneficial during the cold season with pure and natural thermal spring salt. Right, this sounds genius. It does. But we did get bath salts in the last one. Yeah. And I don't have a bath. And I do, but I use bath bombs and stuff. And Yeah. I, I don't need this. However, any... I think if you had a cold, that would be amazing. What does it say? Right. It provides you with a beneficial bath experience when there is a risk of colds. Their high content of pure and natural thermal spring salt is obtained from pure natural brine in Europe's only remaining open pan salt works. The Celine <laughs> I don't know what that says. Saline Lysenhorn? I don't know, it sounds it's, it kinda of sounds German. Is it German? Is this from know. Germany? Um I don't know. Yes, made in Germany. There you go. 
Okay. What do you do with it? You put it in the bath. Yeah, I'm just having a look. Um, this was one, while she's reading that, that you could have got one of two. Um, we did actually both get the same, but you could have got the eucalyptus or the lavender. Are they both um, for cold seasons? Because this one says cold season. No, the lavender says balancing. I'm kind of glad I've got cold season then. Yeah, I think that would be really good if you are bunged up to have a bath with that and kind of let the steam and the eucalyptus sort of help naturally. Sorry, I've got really itchy nose today. I might today. actually let Sam use this as he's asthmatic. It might, that might would probably him. be good for him. Although he's pain, so I was like, no, I'm going to shower, it's quicker. But I might be able to persuade him to use this. And if they this. help, obviously you can have mine because I don't have a bath right now. And even in the new house, no bath. So it is something we will put in eventually, but right now there's no bath. And these are 199, 195, words are difficult, at graftonsbeauty.co.uk. So if it does work, I can get them some more. This is one full bath. That seems like a lot. Mm. It, but it looks. I suppose they dissolve into the water quite a bit. So 60 grams, one full bath. But I don't know if you can see, but this is actually quite. There is quite a bit in there. Well, the ones we got last month was a 50 gram tub. So that's just I over. I haven't used that one yet. I might use it when I get in. Yeah, I haven't used it. A key. Ready? This is my last thing. Ooh! Ooh, piece of candy! Ooh. It's not a piece of candy. Oh, I like. How soft does that feel? Oh, that feels good. I think these are the best feeling lipsticks ever. I don't know if you'll be able to see that, but yeah, I love your faces. I'm not really good at this whole swatching. It's actually quite a light. Oh, sorry. Oh. Let's see if you can see that bit. Uh, mm. I don't know if that's going to focus at all. No. We should be able to. Okay, now I can't see what I'm doing. There you go, see? So you can kind of... I didn't swatch it very well, if I'm honest. Get a feel for that. Okay. She's rubbish at swatching stuff. I am. Um, I have to do there it like my entire hand. But these feel really nice. I They're think very soft. Yours is the Dusty Rose. So this could have come Naughty in... Naughty Nude, it actually says. Oh, okay. So this could have come in one of four shades. You're All Mine, which was a rose pink. Best of the Best, which is this one that I am wearing. That's why you didn't answer me about your new lipstick. There we go. Oh, I like yours better than mine. I knew she'd say that. <laughs> As I said, I did open hers earlier to check that she had everything because it had been so bashed up and I was like, I bet as soon as she sees mine, she'll be like, I want yours. Um, so that is the best of the best, which it says is a berry red, which is the sort of colour that I normally go for. A naughty nude, which is the one that Beck has. And I wanna try it. one of a kind. Do you want a mirror? Yeah. I'm probably going to get this all over my face if I don't. <laughs> We're so organised. I didn't know it was... How could I be organised? I didn't know what was in the box. <laughs> Um, or the last one was one of a kind, which was a plum colour, um, which I would imagine probably would have been the one Beck would have gone for if she was choosing. I match my lipstick to my hair normally. Um, this is the colour of my lips. <laughs> Gives you a slight colour, but yeah, very close. I suppose it's naughty nude, that's... Yeah, but it's quite a nice natural sort of colour. Mm -hmm. It feels nice. These feel like butter. Like butter. Like butter, literally. It is the nicest feeling lipstick. And I wore mine Saturday. I wore this all day. I wore it to afternoon tea. I had to touch it up a little bit when, obviously, I ate. And it does transfer. I will say that. It will transfer on everything. But the colour did stay really well. And it feels nice all day. There's no drying towards the end of the day. It's a really nice lipstick. And these are six ninety nine at boots.com. And actually, I've been in Superdog today and they're about the same price. <laughs> and that's it. Aww. All empty. So, what do you reckon to box number two? I'm, I'm, I like it. I have to admit, I did think there was less in there, but I, now opening it up, I don't think there was. No, this is exactly what I did and I actually counted it. I think it's because we got an extra sweet treat last month. 
because it was Valentine's Day. Yeah. Oh, um, no, that's not your lipstick. <laughs> I think that there is quite a lot of bath stuff they seem to be, like, I'm not a fan of always getting the bath salts. No, but... That's personal, that's... Yeah. Just, I, I prefer bath bombs. Yeah, I'm not a big bath salts person. And again, no bath. But... I'm, I'm looking forward to trying everything. I love this badge. I actually do. I know... It's a really nice sentiment. I will say that. It's just that I'm not really a badge sort of person. There is actually a code, however, on the back of there, which is happy for 25% off at lapelyear.com. That was lapel. Lapel, yeah. Not label. Yes, it is. Not label. I'm just making up words now. But... Even if I didn't use this, I, I have a friend that would be obsessed if I gave this to her. Oh, there you go. She can have mine then. Oh. There we go. Oh. Oh. Oh, a piece of candy. I think the reason it seemed like more last month was obviously because of this necklace. Yeah, I think there is... This, I should stop clicking that. I feel like this necklace made it seem like there was more value yeah. in it. But in reality, it's, it's not. Yeah. I think... And we did get a full-size lipstick. Yeah, and actually, I think a lot of these are full size. Um, the badge is full sized. The, yeah, the pin technically is full sized. The bath salts are full sized. The blotting paper is full sized. The lipstick's full sized. So that's three, and then four if you count the pin, because obviously they only come in one size. So yeah, I think it's it is a good box, and it's really good value. In fairness, it's just I think this one on first opening compared to last month. I think it's because last month was our first one and it was well, kind like, of like super that. exciting as well. Because the box wasn't actually closed properly. Cause no, it was really full. But I've actually only got one thing left of last month's box, which is the bath salts. Yeah, same. Actually, I think I've used oh, no, everything. I've got, I've got the toothpaste, but I am actually really enjoying using that. Mine's gone. But there's two of us, so... And, and you got yours earlier. Yes, that is true. So yeah, I think same. I think I think there was a better variety in last month's box. I will say that. But all in all, I'm still really happy with it, especially for the you know the cost of it. Yeah, definitely. And I'm gonna keep getting them until there's I get a month where I'm like, mm, but then I'll probably get one after that as well to see if it gets any better. Yeah, yeah. But we're waffling. All in all, I'm, I'm happy with this month. Yeah. Okay. Hey guys. So I just thought I'd show you this. I got into work today. I said I have my pink parcel delivered there to this so when I opened it up and I had no idea this was coming I had an extra one of these little boxes when you open this up there is a birthday chocolate which is really cool so I thought I'd just share that with you guys as well because obviously that may be I don't mind the dog knows another factor if you're looking at getting that and actually it was a really really nice surprise and I'm looking forward to having this after my dinner.